Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 map preview. We've done a few of these in the last few weeks, and I have to say, I have been quite busy in the last two weeks. I think now that Farming Simulator 22 is in its waning time period, Farming Simulator 25 has been announced and is coming out in just about 14 weeks. There's a lot of people who are working to finish up various FS22 projects, and this is just one of those. Welcome to Pidnell Farm. This is going to be a standard size map that is going to be released over on the Giants Mod Hub, most likely for all platforms, but we'll just have to see because I know that this map does include a few PC only features. Welcome to Pidnell Farm is how the description goes. This is an expansive and a detailed map based around the scenic river of Thames in southern England. This map offers a diverse range of farming opportunities and challenges with its player-friendly layout and varied field sizes. There are three main farms on this map, Hiddenell, Smokedown, and Northern Farm. One small sheep farm in Oakfield Sheep Farm, a contractor's yard, Benson's contracting. Grumpy old gents has outdone themselves with the way this map is set up. When you load the map up, you're going to have a choice of four different starting farms. As we've already mentioned, we have four farms on this map and a contractor. You're going to be able to choose, are you going to be at Pinnell Dairy Farm, Smokedown Farm, Northfield Farm, or are you going to run a contracting business at Benson's Contracting Yard? Each of these options are going to give you different starting machinery as well as different starting land with the exception of Benson's Contracting Yard because you don't own any land, but you do own a fair bit of machinery. Now you may want to see what each of these farms looks like. We have Pinnell Farm located right here. It is going to be a dairy farm. Lots of buildings. We've got a huge slurry pit around back. Each of these farms is going to start with a placeable fuel tank and workshop. Now, Smokedown Farm, and I don't know if we have this eternal debate in the UK, but Smokedown Farm is going to spark quite the debate amongst North American players because this is both a dairy farm and a pig farm. And, well, given the name Smokedown Farms, I gotta ask, I gotta wonder, are you a pork barbecue? Are you a beef barbecue kind of a guy? Those of you who are the lovers of Long Lanes, well, you may just prefer Northfield Farm because that's what we've got here. A long Lane coming into a tight farmyard. Here we have cows and chickens. Right next to a couple productions with a spinnery and our flour mill. Benson's Agri Contracting. This is going to be in the extreme northeast corner of the map. We've got a few agricultural buildings, large machine sheds, and a fair bit of larger starting machinery. Now, at least one farm that we haven't really talked about yet. It is not a starting choice but there is going to be a small sheep farm that is available for purchase on the map and is right down the road from our contractor. Then we have Smokedown Farm, which we've already taken a look at. And here we have our small sheep farm that we can buy. Then it is actually connected via the skirt road all the way over to the first farm that we took a look at, Pentnell Farm right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And you can see how this map is laid out. This map has 55 fields ranging in size from 0.63 hectares all the way up to 19 hectares. This is going to be a standard size map. So we have our contracting yard here. This is going to be Smokedown Farm. This is going to be our sheep farm that we just talked about. Here is a starting farm for Pinnell Farm. And then this is going to be then the Northfield Farm. 
not really to the north, but at any rate, Northfield Farm is going to be located right here, right by our shop. Shop is where we're going to load in for pretty much anything that we are starting at. We got our vehicle dealer. This map does include a biogas plant. There's also two placeable areas for you to purchase in order to put down additional production or buildings. Love maps with animated animals. That's just something I definitely wanted to point out to you all with respect to this map preview. There are missions available on almost all the fields. A player friendly design with reasonable access to fields while maintaining real life English countryside look and feel. One small forestry area. Precision farming is supported with a custom soil map and multi-terrain angle is built into the map. And that is where I'm saying that it's got some PC exclusive features and I'm hoping it's gonna be available for console minus the MTA. This map includes additional crop types in clover and alfalfa. And the description goes on to go say that they have modified how the animals are fed specifically with respect to cows. So let's go ahead and pull up the animal food overview screen and we can see how cows are being fed here. Total mixed rations. Well, that's gonna give you 110% of your rated milk output. If you feed exclusively silage, you're gonna be at 98% milk output. Hay, alfalfa hay, clover hay, or hay pellets are gonna give you 98% milk output as well. Then we have grass, alfalfa windrow, clover windrow. So grass, wet alfalfa, wet clover, that's gonna give you a 40% milk output. And then we have some root crops in potatoes and sugar beets. Those are gonna give you 5% milk output. Sheep are gonna require grass, alfalfa windrow, clover windrow, hay, alfalfa hay, clover hay, or hay pellets for 100% yield on that. Pigs, we've got corn, sorghum, and pig food, wheat, barley, pig food, soybeans, canola, sunflowers, pig food. So fairly standard listings there for our pigs. We have alfalfa hay, alfalfa windrow, clover hay, and hay pellets added with respect to our horses for the hay requirement. And then our chickens, we have wheat, barley, and sorghum. Fairly standard listings there. Speaking of productions, as we move up here on the sawmill, this map includes sawmill productions. We've already seen a grain mill. We actually have two spinneries on this map. And of course, the biogas plant, as we can see here. So guys, that's just a quick preview here of the pin nail map by Old Guys Modding. Something else you may notice on this map is, well, the lighting is extremely bright. When I mentioned this to them and I asked, why is the map so bright? Well, they mentioned that it was to simulate a bright summer's day in Southern England. I asked them, if, is it really just because you guys are so old that you need to be super bright to see better? And well, they didn't, they didn't discount that as a possibility either. So at any rate, do note that the lighting on this map is cranked up a bit more than maybe you're used to. You may want to turn down your monitor a little bit with respect to brightness, but note that it will vary significantly with respect to clear, clear skies or cloudy weather. Let me know your all thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this map. I do know that it has already been sent to Giants. So with the Giants testing thread, looks like we're looking at a nine day window from submission to testing. So I would expect that this map is going to be entering testing sometime next week. And therefore, we may be able to play on this map as early as August 8th or 9th. Let me know once again your thoughts down in the comments below. And until next time, happy farming.